something's wrong with me. Somewhere deep inside my head, there is a non-repairable malfunction. I am a defective product living a nightmare that I can't wake up from. But why? When? How did this happen? I can't take it anymore.
know I hired a fucking mute. All right, well, you know what? Okay, well, and that explains why you're not selling a damn thing. Now, listen, I'm not gonna keep the bad apples, okay? If you know what I mean. I just can't do it, Floyd. So, with that said, this is your final warning. If you don't make a goddamn sale today, I'm gonna talk to Mike, and you know how that goes. So keep practicing in front of the mirror like you were told in your training. You know, selling life. than a stupid clown. Floyd. Bob, let me ask you a question. What happens if you die tomorrow? How prepared is your family for that? That was an awful sales pitch, Floyd. You sound like a weak little mouse.
you're a liar. I know what you're thinking, Bob. What is this man going to sell me? No. I'm not here to sell you anything, Bob. I'm here to show you the way. You suck. You are good for nothing, Floyd. You're hopeless. Go to sleep. Welcome to this first volume of The Salesman, where I sell you the solutions to your problems. I know exactly what your problems are. I even know your name. Let me guess. It's Floyd, isn't it? Life is passing you by at a full and controllable speed. I can see the numbers showing you no mercy. These numbers represent seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years that you wasted in your life. I can sell you the solution for that. Would you like to buy it? Of course you do. It's time, Floyd.
not know. Not yet. Light at the end of the tunnel. You just have to play your cards right. Stop screwing up. Eat your food, son. Did you hear me, son? I said, eat your food. You know, you should be thankful for those pretty blue eyes from your father. Me.
Where's your wig? What the hell is wrong with you, kid? Are you gonna be mute all your damn life or what? That's why I gave you a mouth, so you can speak. I don't have to pull those little strings on your back that make you talk. And you know why? I'm your goddamn father, that's why. Now, eat what's on your plate before you really get me upset. And trust me, you don't want that to happen. Do you? I'm gonna count to three. And if you don't obey me, I'm gonna do the same nasty shit I did to... See what you made me do? We're not supposed to say that name around here. Get over it, Floyd. Get up. Time to go. Say goodbye to this fucking place. Now, get your flask and drink. What a beautiful suitcase. It looks like the inside of a child's coffin. I should start with me and pack myself in there. and the loud neighbor, that's for sure. Wait. It's not fair, is it? That noisy fucker was louder than all the noises crawling from the streets and slipping through the windows into your tired ears. He filled your restless brain with torment. Every night from dusk till dawn. You can't let him get away with it, Floyd.
low cable. <sighs> Fucking douchebag neighbor didn't pay his bill. Look at this filthy pig. Looks like he's going to eat himself. You should stab him while he's still chewing, Floyd. Our music's so loud, isn't it? Listen to this pathetic fucker. If I could have wings, I would have more options. If I could have more options, 
would make wiser decisions. If I could make wiser decisions, I would be in a better place. Instead of one leg, all I needed was wings. All it takes is just a pair of wings. included in my package. The user manual was misplaced, and one leg was forgotten. heard someone say, if you really want to find out about someone's life, look in their bathroom. What the hell is that?
on you again. Look at you. Leave me alone. What's this? What the hell is all this? Who is this boy? He looks a lot like... Like me. Who's he looking at? Garage door open again. What the fuck is wrong with me? You want to know why I built you? Why I gave you a life? Well, before you, there was this... There was this kid living here. It was quite peculiar. Very strange. He was as weird as it gets. I hated this fucking kid. And you know why? Because he wasn't my real son. You see these blue eyes and non-brown hair? Doesn't look anything like me, does it? Huh? Mmm. Now, what do you see when you look at yourself in the mirror? Yeah, that's right. You tell me. I didn't make no mute, okay? That would be a genetically imperfect result. 
Don't you get it? I replaced the imperfect with the so I thought was so perfect. I was gonna fumigate the little shit, but he ran away before I could finish him. Don't you run away, you little shit. <laughs> Tell anyone about our secret, I'll kill you. I beat him up a little bit here and there, but not you. I've never beat the shit out of you because you are my real son. Come closer, Floyd. There you go. Now, lock the door behind you. Remember. You can't tell anyone about this, okay? It's our secret. Now, open your mouth nice and wide. Perfect. Just like that. I think you are defective. And you are just too afraid to tell me. So, I'm gonna count to three. And if you don't obey me and open your goddamn mouth, and answer your goddamn father when he speaks, I am gonna do the same nasty shit that I did to- You behave, son. Don't be too afraid of the dark.
up, yo. Hey, I just wanted you to know that stabbing the shit out of me was the best thing you could have done for me, man. You sent me to another dimension. It's like a fucking parallel universe. This shit is real, yo. There is complete freedom in this dimension. This is beyond quarks and leptins, man. I can travel at all frequencies. Gamma, light, radio. I can pass through fucking walls. You know what this means. I don't even need mechanical waves to communicate with you. Just look at the cord, man. actually chilling inside your fucking head. Who are you? You have a call. It's you. Go ahead. It's for you. Take the fucking phone, Floyd. I know you're in my house, Floyd. I want to show you something.
What are you looking at? I'm looking at you.
So you have no name? Yes, Thor. That is correct. Larry? No, Thor. I don't know. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at anything. John. You look like a John. Like a little John. But smaller. Johnny. When I was young, I ran away from this house. Before I left, I found a red suitcase in the garage. There are some items inside of it. I don't know who they belong to. I just left them inside and took off. Why did you keep these old items for so long? Are you going through my stuff? No, Fly. Please continue. And the items. I don't know. I just... 
I just felt attached to them. Maybe they belong to your father? My real father was never in the picture. My mother, she struggled to raise me on her own. Then this guy came along. Gary? Yes. When I was a little boy, he did bad things to me. But nobody was watching. What things? Horrible things. I'd rather not mention them. I was... Abused? Go on. And your father? I don't know a thing about him. Looks like you've had a rough life, boy. There is left for you to tell me is that you had a shitty neighbor. I actually did have a neighbor. A loud one. And what did you do about it? Did you take care of the situation like a real man would? Does this guy speak or what? Come on, weirdo, pay your damn cable. I wanna watch Squirting Teens and Busty Milfs. Hey, is your cable working at all? Cause mine is in, I think it's like a building ish shit. Impressive work, Floyd. It looks like we've got a natural with the knife here. Better than what I thought. You're actually good for something, Floyd. Let's see what you've got. Was his name? Josh. Now he's away. Finished by you in this day and time. The loudness king buried with his fucking noise. Goodbye, fucker. Look at that. Must be your lucky night. There's more cash in his wallet than what you're worth, Floyd.
you draw these? No. You did. You drew them when you were a child. Did you cut my hair while I was sleeping? What did you do with my glasses? No lens. can still see perfect. How strange.
food, Johnny. Did you hear me? I said, eat your food. little strings on your back that make you talk. Do I? And you know why? Because I'm your goddamn master, that's why! <sighs> now, eat what's on your plate before you really get me upset. And trust me, you don't want that to happen. Do you? I'm gonna count to three. And if you don't obey me, I'm gonna put you back in your... If I could, I 
I would repair myself. But not a thousand parts could save me. Not a million tools would fix me. Please help me. Johnny.
get you. No. Enough. Please help me. Johnny. That guy from the trailer. Henry Alda. How do you know his name? What about my job? The apartment? Father, you can't work. You're a permanent disability. I'm disabled. By who? By an older cousin. And physically abused. By an uncle. How do you know about the abuse? From I can hear everything from inside my box. In family gatherings at your grandmother's house, your uncle would grab you by the neck and choke you with all his strength.
There is no suitcase. Is there? No. Fly. You. You're one of them. Aren't you? It can't go away. Can it? It can't be cured. No. Floyd. Floyd. That's not my name. What up, yo? So, are you going east or west? I'm heading to Pasadena. What about you? East LA. Born and raised there. Really? You're in East LA? Hey, do you have a cigarette? Do you smoke? I ran out earlier. You bet I do. Sorry about that. Thanks. I shouldn't be smoking, but life's a bitch. It gets you out of here faster. It speeds up the process just to exit out of this mandatory game. What's your name? Josh. Josh, let me ask you a question. What happens if you die tomorrow? How prepared is your family for that? Nobody would give a rat's ass. Hey, I'm gonna let you know in advance that I'm not interested. 
I know you're going to try and sell me something, and it's probably life insurance. And here it is. Finally. Better late than never. Good night, Floyd. Sweet dreams.
you save me.